Okay. Back to my micro stamping video. What is micro stamping? I'm gonna tell you. Relax. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Um. This is another one of those videos where I have to extol my. Uh, I promised I would. I don't know if I told you this yet, but I'm not making any more pro gun nut NRA videos like that because Omri Guild, my buddy. He mentioned something in one of his videos. We had a deep discussion about it. In fact, that's the video I commented. No politician was ever so against guns. They told their, po they told their body gun not to carry any. Okay. Don't argue with the moron. So basically, if you think, if gun nuts, if, if, if people think that criminals go to the store, buy a gun, fill out paperwork, get a license, and rob a liquor store, that's what they believe. And you're not going to change their opinion on it. So, taking Armory Guild's advice, I'm not arguing anymore about that. I'm not. I know you guys love it. I'll still talk about Supreme Court cases. I'll still talk about controversial shit like I'm talking about now, micro stamping. But I'm not going to give any more myth dispelling. I'm not going to talk about why collapsible butt stocks are not dangerous. I'm not going to talk about why a forward vertical grip is not going to kill you. You believe me, you believe me. If you don't, I can't argue against you. Okay? So, there's not going to be any more of that. But there is going to be more talking about hot button issues, like this is here. Now, how do they get ballistics off a firearm? I have a couple of spent shells that I use for reference. Hold on a minute. What the fuck? Sorry about that. How do we get ballistics off a gun? Well, first of all, I did take a forensic science class, the basic introduction class. I'm not talking about anything that is confidential. This is all public knowledge. You can watch this on a documentary. Not CSI, real documentaries, with real people talking about real situations. See that silver thing? That's called a primer for those of us that don't know that. Okay. You see the dent in the silver thing? That's called either a striker or a firing pin impression. It means when you pull the trigger on the gun, bam, the firing pin or striker hits the silver thing. And that's what leaves that little mark there, okay? Well, this is what has to happen. Let's assume that a murder happens, okay? Murder happens, guy's laying dead, and they found one of these next to the body. How do they figure out the guy that did it, the body, the gun, whatever? Here's what they have to do. They have to have this. No question. No question. They must have this. Okay? Now, there's individual characteristic and class characteristic. A class characteristic means, okay, I'm a white man, I'm five foot nine, I have brown hair, brown eyes, and I curse a lot. Okay? That's a character, a, a, char a class characteristic. There are a lot of white guys that are brown hair, blonde, brown eyes, and curse a lot, and are five foot nine. An individual characteristic is my fingerprint. No one in this world has my fingerprint. No one. No one in this world has my teeth. No one in this world has my DNA, okay? When a gun fires into a cartridge casing, okay? This happens to be a 40 caliber Glock, okay? This happens to be, it's in here somewhere. Like that. This. This happens to be a 40 caliber Springfield XD, okay? You'll notice this is rectangular the mark. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. This mark. Oh, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Forgive me. What the fuck? That's my father, my uncle's in the back in case you didn't caught a glimpse of it. Okay, you can't see that really well because this camera is not that great, but I can. 
This impression looks like a rectangle on the silver thing. This impression looks like a, a circle on the silver thing. That's how I can tell them apart. One was fired by a Glock 23, mine. One was fired by a Springfield XDM 40. No, no not Spring, not XDM, just regular XD, XD 40. That I borrowed from one of my, from the instructor when I got my own guard license since I use it, okay. Well, the Glock 23, we're going to use that as an example, because that's what gunfire one of those casings. The Glock 23 is made on an assembly line. Massive machines making massive guns all at the same time. I know. Okay. Yeah. Now, you can tell a forensic scientist can look at a casing and say, okay, that is a Glock 23. That is a Glock 22. That is a Glock 27. Okay? They can tell because different firing pins or like this is a Glock 22, this is a Springfield XD40. This is a, a Sig Sauer P226. Okay? They can tell, they have to have references and to check, but they can tell what a firing pin impression is. Okay, and they can tell, this firing pin was made by a Glock 23, this was made by a Springfield XD 9mm, XD 40, etc. That's called class characteristic, okay, you narrow the field. This casing was fired by a Glock 23. Well. That narrows the field, it eliminates Smith & Wessons, it eliminates XDs, it eliminates SIG, it eliminates everything except Glock 23. Now we have the individual characteristic. When a gun is made on a machine, there are little microscopic differences in the firing pin and this and that, that affect the way the gun fires. Okay, A forensic scientist with a really good microscope and a shitload of patience can fire 100,000 rounds out of 100,000 Glock 23s and he can determine that all of the guns, all the casings came from different guns. Yes, he can. Now this is how they get ballistics, okay? The forensic scientist finds the cartridge casing. It could be next to the dead body, it could be down the street, it could be in the guy's home. He finds it or the police find it and give it to him, but they find it, okay? They also find the actual cartridge casing, or the actual gun, I'm sorry, the actual gun. The actual gun, not a gun, the gun. Once they have the actual gun and the actual cartridge casing, this is what they do. The forensic scientist takes a fresh cartridge, fresh round, okay? He takes the fresh round and he puts the ground into the weapon that was found at the crime scene or found in the suspect's possession. And he sticks his arm into a water tank, boom, pulls the trigger, the cartridge comes out, and he takes the cartridge. And he knows for a fact this cartridge was fired by this gun because he took the gun with his own hand, took the cartridge with his own hand, put it in, pulled the trigger, and he did it all by himself and in case there's any doubt he can videotape it like I'm videotaping myself now he can have a video camera come in there he can have a judge come in there he can have a prosecutor come in there he can have a defense attorney come in there he can have a police officer come in there he can even bring the goddamn jury in the court in the, in the lab and show the jury this is what I do boom okay that is called the standard okay it's called the standard excuse me Hold the standard because he fired it in his presence. He knows what it is. Okay? Then there's the casing that was found at the scene of the crime. Excuse me again. I'm getting another one out of here. Okay. Okay? See these? Both fired by my Glock 23. The forensic scientist can take the gun that was found at the suspect's home, fire a casing. Take the casing out. Take the casing that was found next to the dead body at the scene of the crime. Put the two of them together. 
put them under a microscope and he can see that they are 100% identical he can then come into court and testify under oath in front of the judge and the jury this cartridge and this cartridge were fired by the same gun the guy that that the gun that guy had in his house was the murder weapon and you can See that on any documentary. It's public information. Excuse me. Checking my fucking time. Okay, 1037. It's public information. Now, we're talking about something called micro stamping. Now, micro stamping is this at the factory. They have to have a special machine, which costs money, nothing's free. And they take this special machine, and they take the gun that has already been made, and they take the firing pin or striker, and you know how the serial number of a gun is written on the barrel, on the frame, on this, on that, on the slide, okay. They take a special microscopic, hence micro stamping, microscopic method, and they write the serial number of the gun on the casing. Yeah. So you would literally be able to look at this under a microscope. It doesn't have it on there. I'm just telling you. You look at this under a microscope. Okay. And you would be able to read the serial number of the gun right off the casing. That's what micro stamping is. Now this is going to take a few more minutes to debate, so I'm going to skip now, cut, and refilm.